Welcome to the Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hi, welcome back to the Miracles Laboratory video series. My name is Ayatha Chinni and I work for Miracles Innovation Labs. Today I'm going to talk about the traffic violation mobile app which we built at, at our labs uh, with the help of OCR and AWS. And uh, let's move on to the agenda today. Traffic uh, violation mobile app. Um, I'm going to talk you through about uh, what the traffic violation mobile app is and what the functionality is. Technology stack that we used, open ALPR, um, which is the OCR that we used over here in this use case. Um, and the architectural flow that we designed. And uh, I'm going to show a quick live demo on the functionalities of the mobile app that we built. Um, that's the quick agenda for us. Um, traffic violation mobile app. So I'm going to talk to you a bit about um, what this, what the mobile app exactly do, and uh, actually what we are uh, trying to overcome. Um, we all we already know that uh, we have a lot of problem with the uh, for the Indian police uh, people uh, where they are taking this kind of paper uh, paper violation reports whenever there is a violation has been done by the user. So that's a that's a very difficult job where they have to maintain all these forms and uh, all the papers back in the office and which is very difficult for the traffic uh, police policeman and uh, we came up with an app uh, which is a native android application that we built uh, using the ocr functionality as well which actually helps us to take the pictures of the vehicle in order to identify the vehicle number and then get the information about the um, car or the vehicle uh, that we actually uh, take in the picture that we take the picture and then it also displays the owner details um, about the car or the vehicle, um, so it displays the name, uh, phone number, and all all the details of the owner. And then we'll be sending that um, um, the violation received form as an email to the uh, user, so that he can pay that back uh, from any online systems. So uh, this solution actually helps the police officers to monitor, track, and record the number of offenses that the user are making throughout the city, and that's where they have a, a full stack of uh, maintenance record in the backend systems. Uh, where they can manage easily. A technology stack that we used for this application, uh, we used Android SDK, uh, which we as uh, a native native application. As I said, it's a native application, so we used Android SDK for that. Um, Open ALPR, uh, which is uh, uh, the OCR uh, technology we used, which actually recognizes the uh, images and the number plate in that image and sends out the and gives out the API information as well. And I'm going to talk you talk more about the Open ALPR uh, in the next slide as well. DynamoDB, which is our backend system, uh, the backend database we used over here. So we will be using that, uh, and it's a NoSQL database, which is fully managed, uh, uh, and it's a service from the AWS service. Lambda function, uh, we're using Lambda functions for uh, creating the microservices in order to manage the server. So we don't, uh, in order, to, in order to consume these um, Lambda services, uh, we are creating an API uh, by using API Gateway as well. So uh, that's where we use API Gateway. So API Gateway is also a service from the AWS, uh, which actually uses for creating and publishing these APIs. And uh, you can also maintain that uh, from the AWS platform itself. Okay, um, so Open ALPR. As I said, I'll be talking more about the Open ALPR uh, um, in the in the next slide. So this is what uh, I'm going to take you through. So Open ALPR is an open source um, automatic license plate recognition. So uh, this is actually a web service of the REST API that. Uh, uh, the open LPR is giving out for the developers where actually we can give out uh, um, the image that we captured and uh, uh, we get the response from that particular API uh, with the following data which has been shown on my screen. So uh, if you can see the uh, diagram that actually explains the flow. So we have a vehicle which actually uh, has been captured by a camera and that image has been sent to the open LPR API which is the rest API that we have and uh, that, that information is again uh, showed over here. So once we give the uh, image uh, as a request for the API, uh, we get the following JSON uh, payload as a response on that particular API. So we usually get the uh, number plate and uh, what color the car is, um, vehicle make, whether it's Honda, Audi, or what, what the vehicle is, and uh, so far and so forth, the information is coming from that particular API. So this is what about the open ALPR and the functionality is, uh, this is what the functionality of the open ALPR. And this is an open source one where the developers can quickly jump in and play with this. Architectural flow, uh, this is what a quick um, architecture that we designed uh, for this particular demo. Uh, so we have a police officer uh, who is using our native Android application on his mobile app. 
and it's mobile so once um, uh, any offenses are made uh, the policeman actually takes a picture of this vehicle and then sends that image to the open alpr which i explained previously um, so once we get the request to the open alpr it actually gives us the information about the vehicle but uh, we don't get the information about the vehicle owner uh, where we have a separate api which is built and the lambda function so once we get this information uh, the lambda service would be triggered and uh, we get the other response of the owner uh, details actually like owner email id uh, phone number and the personal informations are being tracked and uh, brought back to us through this lambda service um as and is exposed through the api gateway so once once we get the data we have been putting that in a form and uh, selecting the right offense um, so for example we, we, if the user uh, have no documents suppose if, that, if they doesn't have a license or any kind of thing so then the uh, offense uh, type would be selected and we have a um, particular amount of fine that we uh, decided uh, in the back end so it actually uh, automatically pops out based on the offense that the user made that's how uh, we are uh, creating the form and submitting back to our back end systems it actually stores everything in our back end dynamo db and generates a receipt um, kind of thing where, where it actually have the offense type and how much the amount of fine and uh, the receipt number and kind of user information as well in that in that particular receipt and we are going to send out an email to this particular offender or the user who actually did the offense uh, we are going to send an email or an sms uh, that way he will be alerted so that he can um, clear that offense uh, in a particular interval of time so that's what the architecture flow explains over here um, and end to end and uh, uh, let's move on to a demo uh, i'll be showcasing a quick demo in my mobile app uh, so how the functionalities and how uh, uh, the violations are recorded and uh, how they have been tracked and how the receipt is been sending back an uh, email to the user as well so the, i'll be showing that in a couple of minutes okay uh, here is a quick demo of the app uh, that we built uh, for the traffic violation if you can see my screen i have a, um, <clears throat> my phone connected over to my laptop so this is the login page for that so we have been given a credentials a username and password for the police officer to log in into this app application so i'm giving out the phone uh, number and the password for that as an authentication so once you log in into that you will be redirected to the home page uh, so the home page over here is the violations uh, the list of violations that the user uh, usually make or, or the policeman record those so uh, if you can see on the screen you have two violations for now so one is no documents the other one is drunk and drive and we've been generating a unique id for that as a receipt number so once you click on that uh, you will be getting on the view details page which actually has the receipt number uh, the license number and the vehicle number amount for the violation that he made and uh, what type of violation that he have so the violation for this particular is no documents and the date of violation that he actually uh, did on that so that this is what the details for the violation so let us go back to the app and then uh, we'll record a new violation so if you want to file a new violation we just have to click on the icon and uh, we have two options over here uh, one is uh, the police officer can manually enter uh, the vehicle number if the image is not that good or else you can actually take a picture for the vehicle and then pass that picture uh, or the image back to the open ai pair which we discussed in the presentation slides so uh, i'll click on the take take a picture so that it will read it so for now we are going to take out from the library or the gallery that we have um, so we already have a picture that we have already taken that so i'll just upload that so now uh, if you can see uh, the vehicle uh, number is automatically uh, pulled out from the image and it's been uh, put it into this field so once you submit that it actually hits the open api and then brings out all the informations about the uh, vehicle so yeah here we here we go uh, we have the vehicle number year uh, the company or the make uh, it's make it ford and ford focus and uh, we also uh, get the user details as well the owner of the car uh, once you click on the next you get the other information as well about the engine number chassis number um, and uh, um the username email id and phone number as well so here you can you have a drop down for selecting the violation so i'm clicking on the violation and you can see the list of violations that we have so i'm going to uh, select the no documents for now so once you click on the uh, violation it actually gives out the amount as well so basically we have been uh, added uh, different types of amounts for different type of violations so it auto populates the field over here uh, so once we have the all the details of the violation form uh, then we're going to click on the next a button so it actually gives out a pop up an alert kind of thing for the police officer to confirm that so 
So here we are asking them to send out an email uh, to the user or the offender, uh, the receipt that we generated. So we click on S over here. Yep. Um, so here we go. Before previously we used to have two uh, violations forms, and now we have the new violation form generated with the unique receipt number, and uh, the violation type is no documents again, and uh, the date and the timestamp that we created. So uh, if you can click on that, uh, so you can see the details as well. So if you can see, uh, we have the vehicle, uh, um, the amount and the date that created. So this is what the functionality and uh, um, the flow of the applications. Uh, click on, like, I'll be clicking on the side menu. Let's go back onto this violation screen. So this is what the demo. Um, yeah, I'm just clicking on the logout. So we will be going back to the logout page. So that's it. Uh, this is the quick demo that we have built for the traffic violation app. Um, thank you. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.